Hi, Julie here, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to use the short 16th inch split pin paper bead roller that I offer on my website at paperbeadcrafts.com and it's also available at amazon.com and etsy.com and basically what you'll get is the paper bead roller, the instructions that will be on either paper or cardstock and you'll also get a packet of five stabilizer beads and the stabilizer beads will make it easy for you to uh, roll cardstock um, which can be a little bit more difficult to roll up than normal and uh, let's just go ahead and I'll demonstrate how to use it and I'm going to open up the packet of beads and these little packets of beads were actually hand packed by me um, I don't have any, well, the, the handles themselves are made in a factory for me. And then I finish drilling them and stick it in the pins. Okay, so this is a stabilizer bead. Uh, you're going to get a variety of them. You get five of them in a packet. Um, they'll look probably look different from this um, because I use whatever beads I can find that will fit with the 16th inch hole. Okay, so what you do is uh, the first thing you're going to do is get your strip of paper and your little dish here of glue and your little toothpick here and a little bucket to put your beads in and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to slide the paper onto the bead roller and to make it more secure so it will stay there you put one of the stabilizer beads on and I do try to make sure that the beads will fit no matter what because I test them. Okay, and then you're going to pull your paper just up enough so that you can't, almost can't see it anymore. Okay, to that point right there. And then you're going to roll it. And one thing about these split pin paper bead rollers is they're flat on the inside and rounded on the outside and the 16th inch are fairly flexible so you do have to be gentle with them because um, they could easily bend and there's no way around getting that I, I'm not able to find a hard wire um, for these particular bead rollers the rest of the sizes are fine though okay so once you get to this point you're going to go ahead and put glue on the very end so that way you can adjust it if you need to and you're going to continue rolling and when you're done you just hold it there a few seconds you take your stabilizer bead off and you pull off your bead and if you have a pin tool you're going to clean out the inside bear with me I do have one Okay, I bought this pen tool um, uh, online, I think. Uh, it was quite a while ago. It's been used quite a bit. But basically what you do is you put your pin inside the bead here. Try to find which side would be better. Because what happens is, is you've got the end of the paper uh, curled up here because it was between the two pins. So you look carefully, see which way it's actually going to open up best. And you stick the pin in there and you run it on your hands and I run it until it actually spins like that and that cleans up the hole and then I'm done with it so I'll do another one and if you notice on these pins one is longer than the other and since I make these by hand um, there is always a possibility that when you get yours the two pins could be exactly the same um, it's still usable definitely um, but I do try to make sure that one pin is slightly longer than the other but sometimes they're hard to insert into the hole okay so I'll do it again slide it in you can pull it up to make it easier for you um, before you put the stabilizer bead on and this time I'm going to show you one of the wooden ones <clears throat> and you stick the wooden one on and you can slide this over so you can fit more room fit the bead on better and then go ahead and start rolling it okay and you're going to roll it and roll it I don't bother gluing it down um, 
you know, at this point. I wait until I get it to the very end so I can adjust it if I, if I need to. Okay, almost there. And I'm in transition period right now. I'm going to be changing my packaging. That's why I'm not showing you the packaging at this time. But I wanted to show you how to use the paper bead roller. And uh, I'll also show you how to use the long one in just a moment. Okay, and this is the 16th inch split pin paper bead roller. The handle is 5 inches long, made with birch wood that's been stained. Um, a, a, an oak color. Okay, pull the uh, stabilizer bead off, pull your bead off, and go ahead and find which side would clean up better. And stick your needle tool in there and clean it up. And that one's done. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the long 16th inch paper bead roller, which when you get it, it will have a uh, a stabilizer bead already on it and you'll still get your packet of five beads just like this and what makes the longer one <coughs> cool <laughs> um, is you can make longer pipe beads um, I'm going to demonstrate that right now I'm going to leave the stabilizer bead right on it basically you, you take your piece of paper with the wide end and you slide it between the two pins can take me just a moment here to get that in there and uh, okay then once you have it through you can go ahead and adjust it as you need to and the stabilizer bead is there to keep the pins together and you can push it on there a little bit more so it's a little bit more stable and you just start rolling it okay and at this point since you have the paper on it you can take the stabilizer bead off at any time once you get started rolling. Um, just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. And this is going to make a long skinny tube because it's only one layer of 11 inch long copy paper that I printed on the computer. And uh, it's going to take me just a few more minutes here. And I sell these long paper bead rollers in five different sizes, 16th inch, 332nd inch, 8th inch, 532nds inch, and 316th inch. And the only ones that you need the stabilizer beads for is the 16th inch and the 332nd inch. The rest of them, the pins are so rigid that it's not necessary to have the stabilizer bead on it. But there's a bead, a long one, that's been rolled up with this long 16th inch paper bead roller. And then just slide it off. And again, you're going to want to use your pin tool, if you have one, to go ahead and clean that out. Or you can find, or straighten out a paper clip that fits inside of it and that should work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this one up. And you might need to insert the pin on both sides to get it really um, clean. Okay. All right, that should be it for that one. I'm going to show you that one more time with the 16th inch paper bead roller. This time I'm going to put the wooden one on because it's a little bit looser. And I'm going to get another strip of paper, another wide one. Because the wide one is definitely too wide for this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slip the paper in. You want to make sure that the print side is away from you when you slip it in. And that goes true with any paper bead roller that you use. And pull it up so that you can barely see it. Push the bead up closer to stabilize it even more. And start rolling. Okay, and these of course, um, again, don't put the glue on it until you reach the end. That way you can adjust it if you need to. And 
just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Okay. When you get to the end, just go ahead and put the glue on it. There. And then take your stabilizer bead off. You can take it off anytime once you get started rolling. And that bead is done. Pull it off and you have another bead. And these long beads can be used for like uh, Indian type of jewelry or you can use it in ornaments to make stars. You can do all sorts of things with them. And uh, that's it for in, you know showing you how to use the long and short 16th inch split pin paper bead rollers and these are available at paperbeadcrafts.com in the bead roller section and they're also available at amazon.com just do a search for paper bead crafts paper bead rollers and they're available at my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash jpfun all right thank you for watching and have a great day Oh yeah, one more thing. If you like what you see and you want to see the rest of my videos and be notified when I put a new video up, go ahead and click the sub subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put the comments below in the comments section. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.